Hi again everyone, uh, so today uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to track a thank you page but this time using GA4 and Google Tag Manager um, so it's a slightly different method um, to basically achieve the same thing so it's it's usually good to use Google Tag Manager um, to manage you know all of your, your events or so you try to use one or the other um, and if you're going to be using Google Tag Manager in the future anyway to do more complex tracking and, and things, it's usually a good idea to kind of start off just using Google Tag Manager just so you don't have any confusion going forward and having some events set up in, in GA4 and some set up in, in uh, Google Tag Manager. However, today uh, I'm just going to show you how to do um, yeah the, the, the other option, which is obviously setting it up with Google Tag Manager. Um, and just to recap on the previous video, um, let me just share very quickly um, my screen to show you the uh, thank you page diagram about why this you know thank you page tracking is a, a good idea. Um, so th thank you page tracking is one of the most kind of foolproof ways really to track um, users that complete an action on your site. So the way people mostly use it is that, for example, in our uh, fake uh, website that we've got here, our fake shop, it could be a shop, it could be any type of way, but we've got a form and this form, once completed, redirects to a unique thank you page. Okay, the only people that complete that action, that complete that form, get directed to. So there's no other traffic comes to this page unless they've completed that action of filling in that form. So it's a unique thank you page. So we know that any user that comes here has completed that action. So it's a really good foolproof way of, you know, setting up some basic tracking um, on your website. So just to go back to the diagram here is that you know imagine your web traffic comes in they go to your landing page they go to some other pages on your site but they end up on your contact page but your contact page redirects them to a another unique page that nobody else can get to right so it's unique so we can count that and we can use that as you know to measure our um, the effectiveness of our marketing campaigns um you know and and basically to to to, to achieve our marketing goals right so, um, into the actual uh, tracking, um, so we can see, you know, we've, we've got a thank you page that we're looking to track. Now in this case, in the previous video, I already set up a thank you page uh, conversion as well, event and conversion in GA4 for that. But what about if I wanted to set that up instead in Google Tag Manager or using Google Tag Manager? Well then, I go about it in this way instead. Now this assumes that you've already got a Google Tag Manager account and you've already got Google Tag Manager installed on your website. Now if you have not implemented that on your website yet, we have videos to show you how to do that. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put those in the, in the description or you can check out our channel to find those. But you have to have Google Tag Manager installed on your site. Um, you have to have got obviously a Google Tag Manager account, but just going forward let's just assume that you already have um now in our google tag manager we're just going to go straight to have a look at what the new tag should be right so we're going to try and set up a tag for ga4 and it's going to be thank you page tracking right um and it's going to be a page view right so thank you page view now in the tag configuration um just click and go straight to google analytics um, and we're going to be looking at a GA4 event. So we go straight to a GA4 event. And now this is the point where we can go over and grab our um, measurement ID from our Google Analytics account. Now uh, we have uh, a video and a, and a post about that, where to find your measurement ID. But just in case you don't know, if in your admin panel, if you go down to data streams and on your data stream, click on it and it's this uh, measurement ID here which we can copy and we can paste over okay now the event name is going to be all lowercase thank you uh, thank you page view and this oops this time I'm going to go call it GTM uh, just to differentiate because we've got another goal 
uh, called Thank You Page View. So this stands for Google Tag Manager. Um, and the triggering here, I'm just going to create a trigger now as I'm here, right? Um, now, what I need to understand is what should my trigger be? Now, I think my trigger can be basically when somebody, it's as simple as, it's the page URL, when somebody visits this page URL. So with this, we don't really need, we already know, so we can go, well, it's going to be uh, a new trigger, and it's gonna be a page view trigger, but for that thank you page. And then I'm gonna go for a page view, but it's some page views, and then I'm going to select page URL, contains and then I can put in this All right thank you okay save right that's our tag all set up so let's save that and let's go to the preview mode in GTM and this will open up the Google tag assistant now you need to connect your website via the Google Tag Assistant, which will open up your website in the debug mode, which will allow us to kind of see if that's actually working. So if we go to the contact page and navigate through and just complete that action on our site, submit. And then on the Tag Assistant tab, now we can have a look to see what's actually fired. So we're looking at our thank you page, the most recent is our thank you page. So we can see that that um, container is loaded. And then what we should see, well, straight away we can see that it's succeeded, right? So let's click on that and see why it succeeded. So we can see that it's, well, it's because it's an event, but also because it matched that this page URL matches what we specified. So that's all good, that's all fine, that works, right? Now, once we've got that, and we're happy with that and that's working, then we could submit that, okay? Always remember to submit and basically submit to, to publish that container version. So make those changes live on your actual site. So we can put added GA4 uh, goal and put thank you page, right? You might, when if you're working in a bigger team, it's really important to obviously fill out these descriptions and make sure that, you know, if people coming in, they can read what the changes were. Um, but in this case, I know it's just me working on this, so I don't have to put that much. Um, so once that is live and that version has been published or submitted, um, I can then come back over to uh, Google Analytics. And what I'm gonna do is just go over to, back to the admin panel. Um, I'm gonna go down and find the debug view. And what we can see here is that just ignore for now that we've got this old one that's from our previous video but we're looking for this gtm one that i've just set up right so you can see that that is now the debug view is picking that up already right so it's picking up that that action happened so that event happened okay so now just like we did with um in the previous video what if we wanted to make sure that that was now a conversion right so if we click on that particular event all i need to do is copy now that event name and then on if you're on the left hand side here you'll see that you can go down to conversions and then all you need to do is go new conversion event and then just paste that name in and then ga4 will understand and recognize that that event is now meant to be a conversion so when it happens again it will now mark it as a conversion so if we just uh, go back again and just Let's do that, uh, submit that form again. Uh, I think our tag assistant is still connected. Um, so we've just submitted it again. Now, if we go back to the debug view, now that we've marked that as a conversion, it should appear as a conversion in, in here when it when it sees it, uh, famous last words. Um, but there, yeah, there we go, right? So it sees the thank you page view, it's, it's seeing that as a, as a conversion. It's also seeing the one that we made in GA4 as well. So that's the, because it's the same, right? We've got, we've got one event that's set up with GTM and one event that's set up with GA4, just to show you as the example. 
Um, but yeah, so now that's that, you know, both ways are ways that you can track that as a conversion and track that thank you page as a conversion. So yeah, I hope that was uh, helpful. Always remember, like I said, remember to publish your uh, GTM container. Remember that that, you know, that uh, Google Tag Manager uh, uh, button in the big, big blue button in the corner needs to be pressed. You need to submit that and publish that container uh, to make sure that it goes live on your site and it actually starts tracking. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. Um, I hope that was helpful. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Like and subscribe to the video and uh, yeah, watch out for more uh, uh, GA4 uh, tips and, and tracking advice. And, um, and yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be back with you again shortly. See you soon.